Hey guys, what is up? It is Chris from Gentleman's Gaming, and I bring you a slightly different video than what you're used to seeing. As you guys know, in the past, I have done various videos entailing my journey into becoming a PC gamer, and I've actually done a few videos on teaching you guys how to get started and actually naming out some of the parts that you can use in your own PC build. Now, some of the other things that I've gotten into recently have been computer repair, helping other people get their computers, whether it be from malware or hardware issues or just getting stuff off of a faulty drive onto a drive that actually works. I've gotten really big and heavy into actually helping people repair their computers. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about what are my top five tools, pretty much tools that help with computer repair or computer recovery. So guys, this is the folder that I normally use when I go out to people's houses and help them with their computer. Now, a lot of these devices or a lot of these programs you can get for absolutely free. There's no charge. They're what we call freeware. And like I said, there's absolutely no charge for getting them. You can just download them and get right to it. So the first one we're going to be talking about today is Auto Run. Now, Auto Run is a pretty interesting program, and I've found it very useful with helping out with registry issues. Now, some people don't actually know how to use the regedit, which is the command.regedit in your command prompt. And I found this extremely useful when I wanted to find anything involving executable files, files that have to do with Microsoft Office, or even just drivers that are faulty and don't have any use in them. So if any time you do get an error message regarding a certain file not opening properly, or there's a file or a driver that's been terminated early without it actually going through, there's most likely registry error. So what you can actually do with this program is actually enter in the file name right in here. So whether that be in your system windows file, your sys32 file, or even just in a specific program file, you can actually enter it in here, find the driver, delete it, or fix it if the driver is faulty or the driver is just not working. So the next piece of software that we're going to be looking at is actually a piece of software that I found by Complete Accent. It's called Test Disk. Now, with all of these software, I will be putting in the description um, the websites where you can find and download all of these programs. And quite frankly, get a lot of these websites to actually tell you how to use them and give instructional information based on what needs you're going to be. So, let's jump right into this, and I'm going to show you guys what this software pretty much is. So, Test Disk is a data recovery and almost software utility. Now, pretty much what this means is that any sort of files that are affected via faulty software or even such things like human error, like shutting down your computer during Windows updates or when your computer contracts viruses, this can actually repair system files or errors on your hard drive, which means you can fix partitions or can actually fix software errors on the drive itself. So pretty much what you have to do, this is pretty much just creating a log or almost like a list of what you do when you're using test disk. So I'm actually gonna pick no log because I don't need to record. So at this step, all you have to do is select the drive that you want to repair. Obviously, I'm not going to go through with this because obviously I don't wanna reformat my drive. So say if I wanted to pick my main drive, which is my one terabyte, all I have to do is click that and you can actually pick which type of partition that you want. So Intel pretty much means most FAT32 and NTFS, wait, NTFS partitions. Um, that'll be able to fix. If you wanted to fix a Mac OS or with OS X, you can actually fix Apple partitions. You can actually even fix Xbox partitions if the hard drive in your Xbox is faulty. So I really think this is a good tool if your hard drive is on the faulty side or you're having a little bit of problems with software issues interfering with your hard drive's capability and processing. So for this next one, guys, the executable file for this one is actually a really, really powerful anti-malware slash anti-spyware and most of you guys actually know a lot about it if you know anything about computers and that is Malwarebytes. So let me just open up this real quick and if you have ever used a computer, Malwarebytes is definitely the anti-malware slash virus scanner that you should use. Their virus definitions are very, very excellent. Um, some of the times I'll run anti-malwarebytes um, instead of some other antiviruses like a Vast or even things like Webroot and Norton and Malwarebytes, 99.9% .9 of the time will get more viruses and more hits than opposed to those other malware scanner definitions. So 
Anytime that you your computer is running slow or there's any problems with pop-ups and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend running malware bytes on your computer and see if it captures any hits, because it's most likely malware. Alrighty guys, so the next tool we're going to be looking at is called Recuvo. Now, I actually have this already set up. The download link is going to be a setup wizard where you can actually set up the program on your computer, but since I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to use the application file, so let's just get directly into what Recuvo is now. What I like about Recuvo, it's a very interesting tool. Now, if you've ever had a drive where you accidentally formatted it, which means you completely set it back to zero, meaning that it's at default, or if you've ever deleted files which are rather important and you can't get them back through additional means, Recuvo is definitely an application that you should look for. And pretty much what the application does is it can search for any such files like documents, videos, compressed zip files, pictures, music, pretty much anything that you can actually think of file types that you wish to recover from your drive. Now all you have to do, like here in the file, you could select all files or you can actually select between any different types of files like videos or pictures. All you have to do is hit next and pretty much what this is is if you're looking for them in a specific drive. So say if I wanted to look for them in a specific drive, I would click on local disk, okay, and then hit next. Now once you have entered all of your specifications into the Recuvo software, pretty much what Recuvo will do will scan your hard drive for all of the missing and deleted files that file under the specific file types that you requested to look up, and will actually show you a complete list after the scan is done with all of the files that it has found and recovered. You could either choose to recover them to an external drive, or you can actually recover them to the hard drive itself, which they were lost from. Now, there is an option that I believe that you should definitely use when you're at this screen, and it's definitely enabling the deep scan because even though it may take a little bit longer than the short or quicker scans, it will definitely find a lot more of the items that perhaps Recuvo would have missed during the quick scan, and I definitely would recommend it if there's a lot of stuff on your computer that you would have deleted. So guys, our last piece of software that we're going to be looking at today is a big one. This is a huge collection of tools and utilities that I would think that every single computer repair or any single person that's big into computers should have, and it is called Hiram's Boot Disk. Now, since this is not actually on a boot CD because obviously you would put it into a computer and boot from the CD, but I just wanted to go with you some of the huge amount of utilities and huge amount of features that this boot CD has that will help you in any single hardware or software problem that you do have. So pretty much with this, when you download the boot CD, instead of actually burning it to a CD, you'll pretty much get this list, which is the application to actually burn it to a CD, um, the changes it has, and actually what you what you pretty much have with the disk file. Now, pretty much what we have here is all of the utilities that Hirons has in his repertoire of tools and utilities. Now as you can see here, it has some of the tools that we talked about earlier, like malware bytes, so many antivirus tools, backup tools, if you wanted to tweak anything in your BIOS, um, if you had anything wrong with your browsers, or even if you had something wrong with your file management, cleaners like CC Cleaner, which you can actually clean up a lot of the temporary files and optimize your system. Uh, you do have device drivers, which actually look up default or actually update and replace defective drivers. Now the two biggest tools that I believe are very pertinent in this boot CD are two things. One, Hirons does come with a built-in password key tool, which pretty much means that even if you're locked out of a certain computer, you can actually erase the password and insert your own password so you can get into the computer. And the second huge thing that I believe is really important with this boot disk is you can actually have a Linux based or a mini XP based um, recovery environment, which pretty much means it it's very hard to, it's kind of hard to explain in simple terms, but pretty much what it allows you to do, it mirrors your system onto a Linux based OS shell, or it allows you to boot onto a mini version of XP. So it's very great if your computer is unresponsive, if your hardware is failing, and you can get out those files without having to do anything in terms of taking the hard drive out of the computer. So guys, that is my top five computer repair utilities and tools. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And also, if you guys have any other tools and utilities that you guys use if you ever have problems with your computer, feel free to put them down in the comment section because it helps educate me and it helps educate all the other people that watch these videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys 
in the next one.